Hey, today we're going to take a break from the Jeeps, the Adventures, and the Grill, and we're going to make some pizza. Hey, welcome to 41 Garage. Um, today we are taking a break from the Jeeps, but uh, we're going to make some pizza. This is a video that's actually been requested quite a bit. You'd be surprised if you don't know that. Um, back when I was in high school, I worked at a restaurant as a delivery guy. Um, and they also serve pizza there. Well, uh, when the delivery area was slow, I worked in the pizza area and uh, learned how to make pizza from scratch. And as uh, our boys grew up, uh, I would make it at home and it kind of got labeled as world famous pizza. And I used to joke with them that it was a recipe that my great, 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 great grandma brought over from the motherland. So um, I would tease them about it forever and joke with them about it. But it was always good pizza. They always enjoyed it. They actually enjoyed it so much that my oldest son, when he was coming home during the holidays from his break in the, in the army, the first thing he requested was for world famous pizza, which was like made my day. I, I was loving every minute of it. Uh, not only because he requested that, but because my wife, she's an awesome cook and she, she can make some killer meals. meals. So, um, uh, yeah, so it was, I kind of rub it in on her a little bit. And, uh, but, you know, in the end, she's definitely a better cook than I am in the kitchen. So, uh, but yeah, so some people from back at my hometown have asked for it. And, you know, I always told the boys I would share with them and, uh, and stuff like that. So, it's, yeah, today is the day we're going to do this recipe. So, uh, okay, so it's kind of a two step process, right? Uh, the day before I'm actually going to make the pizza, I make the dough and the pizza sauce and uh, get that all ready and then overnight the, the dough can rise and things like that can happen. So uh, I'm going to flash you in reverse to yesterday when I did all that and then we'll come back to today. I'll meet you in the kitchen and we will put all the ingredients together, throw it in the oven and chow down on some really good pizza. Okay, welcome to yesterday. We're ready to do our sauce and our uh, dough. Uh, the ingredients are, like I said, pretty approximate. So we're going to do our best. Um, the, the ingredients are what we used in the pizza back in the day. And, uh, but it, the amounts you're putting in may, may vary to, to your liking. So uh, let's get to work on that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to start off with our tomato sauce. Just one can of tomato sauce. It's a 15 ounce can can. Next we're going to go with a 12 ounce can of tomato paste. So 15 ounces of sauce, 12 ounces of paste. Then we're going to add one, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of oregano and two tablespoons of thyme. And just give a little splash of pepper. And mix her up. Some people like the sauce a little bit thicker, you just add more tomato paste. If you like it thinner, just add a little more sauce. Uh, but usually 12 ounces of uh, tomato paste, 15 ounces of sauce is, comes out about right uh, to where I, the consistency I like it. So, uh, and that's it. It was that simple. So let's move on to the pizza dough now. This one definitely is a little bit more by feel than it is exact measurements. Um, start with one egg. Some yeast. I'm going to take a cup of flour. And a second cup of flour. And we're going to add a cup of water. I'm going to start to mix it slow, see how it goes. Okay, so now let's look at it. See how sticky it is? If it's sticky, I'm going to throw in a little bit more flour. Not a lot, just a little. 
flakes. Okay, and then once it gets to a certain point, it's going to have to do it by hand. So, but you can see how much it's sticking to my hand, right? So we definitely want more flour. Quite a bit actually, more than I realized at first. So I'm going to try to mix it in there. There we go. just do it by hand from here. <clears throat> See how it's still sticking to me but barely, right? So I'm just gonna get a little bit of flour on my fingers and, and rub it in there. I'm, I'm running, running my hands on it and it's not really sticking. I can feel some sticky spots on it, which I'll just kind of touch it with flour and uh, maybe rub it back down in there. And I think we're about done. And there you go. Okay, so we got our dough done. It's got one last thing to do to it, and that is, um, I'm gonna just kind of sit like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of vegetable oil. Just kind of run it over it, rub it down. Okay, then I'm just gonna set it on the counter. Throw a towel on it. So let it sit there till tomorrow. And it'll rise um, overnight. And then finally, take my pizza sauce. I'm going to throw it in the fridge, let it sit there till tomorrow. And it should be waiting for us, ready to go. So that's the day before prep work, and um, it's really that simple. Um, so back to yesterday, tomorrow, whatever day it is, whatever day you're on. Okay, so that's what I do the day before uh, to get things ready and uh, make today a little bit easier. Uh, now let's uh, get started on actually making the pizzas. First thing I'm going to do is set the oven to 425 so it can start warming up. So the other thing I did is I uh, browned some Italian sausage. That's sweet Italian sausage. Um, back when I worked at the restaurant, they would just put it on the pizzas raw. That grease would kind of get in the pizza, give it a little more flavor. Uh, what I do is I brown it, since we don't get the oven quite as hot here. Um, and and uh, I don't drain the grease, so that way a little bit of it will come over into the pizza when you add it to the pizza. And it gives you that little extra flavor. So uh, now let's go roll out the dough. Okay, so here is my dough. Um, what I'm going to do is have a little flour ready uh, in case it's sticky, which it usually is kind of sticky. I'm going to pull it out of this here. Uh, kind of mess with it a little bit. You can feel it's sticky already, so I'll get a little bit of flour on my hands just to help with that stickiness, right? Just kind of start patting it down. So now, and then I. <coughs> Got my roller here. I'm gonna just cover that over real quick and start rolling it out. So again, put some flour on here, keep it from sticking. And now we're gonna slide it on there and uh, fill in the gaps. Okay. And all I'm going to do is trim the edges. Voila. Oh, Half that wasn't even on the screen, but you get the idea. So, there it is. So now we just need to put some ingredients on there and away we go. Okay, so here we go. Time for some ingredients. We're going to start with some sauce. Spread it up. Great thing about making the homemade pizza is you can put as much or as little things on there as you want. Uh, I usually overload it. 
Okay, I'm gonna take it over to the oven and throw some sausage on there. Okay, pepperoni time. A little bit of onion. Okay, maybe a little more than a little bit. A lot of bit of onion. Now, I'm gonna do half of it with some of these lovely peppers, sweet peppers. And the other half, I'm gonna have these mushrooms. Giant mushrooms. I'm gonna break them up a little bit. And then we're gonna add some cheese. So again, <clears throat> do it however you like. A lot of cheese, a little bit of cheese. Just kind of get a pile on the center. Start spreading it out towards the edges, not quite all the way to the edge. There you go. I think she's ready for the oven. So now, next thing to do is pop her in the oven. I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes since the oven's still warming up a little bit and uh, we'll let her cook. Come back in a little bit. Okay, so you can see how the cheese has got a little bit of that brown crust on it. So we're going to go ahead and take it out. Looks like she's done. Okay, so there it is. It's all done. Uh, one little trick uh, to loosen it up. Sometimes it sticks onto the stone. Just take your pizza cutter and just jab under there uh, to get it out. And uh, usually will come right off there as long as you put some flour down uh, ahead of time. Okay, so that's it. So I can see where my line is, where my peppers were and my mushrooms, so I'm going to cut it right down that center line. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm going to have to give it a minute to cool off though because it's so hot I can't even hardly touch it. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so let's get a piece out of here and see how she looks. Ooh, yeah, that looks yummy. Okay, so there you have it. Hopefully you'll give it a try. Um, it's an easy recipe. It's fairly quick to put together and it's, it always tastes good. I've never had anyone complain about it and, and my boys always love it. And um, yeah, so if you do try, give me a comment below. Let me know how it works for you or if you even change it a little bit, you know, if you try something different with it. And uh, give me a like if you like this video. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this and other types of videos. You know, we do a lot of Jeep stuff, adventures, and uh, we try to do more stuff on the grill than we do in the kitchen. But So um, it was a lot of fun to make it. It's, it's always fun to make it. The boys love it. And uh, we've made a lot of memories. I have a lot of memories just from a pizza, right? From when I worked at this place and all the people I work with there, along with uh, the times I've made it with my kids. And uh, uh, Subscribe to the channel. We look forward to seeing you on the next adventure, wherever that may take us. And who knows, more recipes from wherever they come from. So we'll see you later. Boom!